We are seeing some of these uh, rain affected roads outside. Places like Spartanburg are hoping that trick or treaters won't be scared of the weather. They sure are ready for the trick or treaters. 7 News reporter Scotty Kay is live where those folks usually are out in full force. All the little ones in their cute outfits. So are they out there this year, Scotty Kay, despite the weather? <laughs> Amy, they sure are. It's a sight to see. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the rain is coming down hard here in Converse Heights. We're actually standing under a tent that one of the residents put up to try to encourage kids to still come out and get that candy. Those here in Converse Heights go all out for Halloween. They say the weather is not stopping them from putting up the decorations and handing out the candy. And we've seen dozens of kids already stop by several houses here in Converse Heights dressed up cute as ever. One house you'll want to uh, take a look at. Check it out. When I was little, there was always that one house in my neighborhood that was the crazy house you had to go to, and I just thought, I want to be that house. If anyone loves Halloween, it's Lindsay Webster. It's a day she looks forward to all year long. I usually have around just over 2,000 trick-or-treaters. Usually I have to spend around $350, $350 at the Dollar Tree to get enough candy. Webster has decorated her house for the spooky holiday every year for about 20 years. It's kind of a madhouse, but it's really a good, fun madhouse. And the community has noticed. Sometimes we have, you know, a good line all the way out to the sidewalk, but tonight with the rain, I don't think we're going to have that problem, sadly. Webster has already felt the impact from the gloomy weather, saying it's caused her more work than usual, rather than adding to her large-scale Halloween decor. And all my gravestones have been blowing around. I'll get in the inflatables, finish my dead body, who's under uh, a crime scene here and then I have to fix all the fuses everything blew overnight because water got in all the lines but Webster is staying optimistic hopeful parents will still bring their little ghost and goblins to her haunted abode I do not run out of candy no matter the hour and she says the rain won't scare her away Halloween people we persevere now the trick-or-treating here will hopefully uh, kind of boom up a little bit in the next hour or so. Like I said, we have seen about a dozen kids stop by here at Miss Lindsay Webster's house. She's handing out candy and I've actually decided to join in on the fun myself. She's letting me borrow a little witch hat today. I've got my trick or treating bag, so I'm gonna take some candy from the clown here. <laughs> and we're hoping that we have a lot more kids come out, especially to this house. Lindsay, tell me a little bit about uh, wh why this day, even with the rain, why it's so important to you. I just love seeing all of Spartanburg County come to your door. I mean, it's just so fun. And despite the rain, hopefully it'll abate soon. And um, we have plenty of candy, so if they don't show up, we'll have a lot of extra candy. That's enough motivation right there, kids. If you want candy, come here to Converse Heights. Now I'm tossing it back to you guys. Live in Spartanburg tonight, Scotty K, 7 News. Scotty K, thank you. Of course.